He has a human flesh. He has a human flesh. I have human flesh. But we still are three humans, even though we made from the same substance. So if there is a three, if they say there is no three God, logically, rationally, we can demonstrate they do believe in three God, not one God. I am a person, he is a person, he is a person. Uh, not three persons, but one person. Even though we are made from the same substance. Because yeah. the argument is, no, they are made from the same, or they, they have the same substance. They have, so therefore, they are one, because, one. no, there are still three. Yeah. And with different Mashiach and go. Yeah, different will and different... Yeah. Okay, today you came late. I don't know what happened today, because I've been speaking to Allah al -Adim. Wallah, I don't know, man. You <laughs> saved me with a good question, sister. You asked a good question. Hey, my brother. How are you, man? You're good, yeah? Wallah, my brother. To be honest with you today, I mean, this, even this video just deleted. This is a headache. No, Wallah. It's good, it's good. Allah, no, no, no. You know me, you know me when I record videos? I, I told the brothers. Even uh, the brothers should do it. It's for the purpose of people learning. But, my brother, this is just a joke. No, no, but the philosophy, well, it should have... Akhi, well, that is a joke, man. Bro, people in my life learn it from you now. Akhi, this is not... You can't be... You know what, Akhi? You can't, you can't be putting this stuff online when people are trying to justify stepping a baby's head, bro. We are, bro, this is not a joke, Akhi. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to be rude, but some people, we have to walk away from them. You know, some people... You know, Akhi, let me give you this... Uh, let me give you this benefit, this benefit, yeah? You know, in the Quran... In the Quran, sorry, Akhi, yeah? In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala... The, the, the Arab pagans ask Prophet Muhammad for something or Allah and Allah never respond to them by giving them the proof. He rebuked them. Do you know why he rebuked them? Because they were stubborn and they don't care about the proofs. So that sometimes some people have told me you have to fear Allah, be realistic, you don't believe this way. When you go outside in the street and you see thousands of buildings collapsing, you're not going to stand there expecting <laughs> someone's going to come out speaking to you. How are you doing? Say, are you okay? Because I mean, no one lives there. Empty buildings collapse. Our well, light is not common. Alhamdulillah for Islam. But what's happening in philosophy is a disease. Because philosophy is to start questioning even your own selves. Everything. We start questioning everything because we have to have something which is called knowledge of necessity. Our and knowledge has to be based upon certain knowledge which is absolute. Otherwise, if I doubt this, I have to doubt this, and doubt this, and doubt this, and this, and this. I'm not going to stop. Even one of the guys, he said, I doubt everything. I accept, accept I. Because I'm I, because I can prove I. Yeah, but how do you know I is true? You know, subhanAllah. That's why when the Salaf, our pious predecessors, may Allah please with them, won't and guess philosophy, there's a reason behind it. Ilm al kalam. Ilm al kalam. The Greek logic, everything, question, everything. You know, no problem. Ask questions. But if you start debating with me that ste stepping on a baby's head, five months old, intentionally, that is, maybe it's wrong, maybe it's right, maybe some people. Khalas, I can't speak to people like that. Oh, you start, yeah, and you start debating. Then you start debating. Yeah, they start, yeah. Sahih. And you start debating. Yeah. No, no, you start debating. Even, even, if you start debating, every cause must have, every effect must have a cause. And this we know it by naturally, innate. Yeah, innate, then there's a problem. Even a baby's brothers, babies and sisters, when a baby five months old, even two months, and you hit him, he start looking where, you know? So, Allah Subhanallah. And the question is, Zul, Tafadal. Hey Allah, Al Sudan. Do you feel like all the philosophy is not correct, or not? Is it the philosophy? فلسفة إيش؟ رشدية وحتى أنا عندي كتاب كنت بقرأ كتاب فلسفة رشدية من ابن رشد نعم يس حتى في كتاب من علي من مثال أنا كنت بقرأ مكتوب فلسفة علي يعني ده كذب على علي فلسفة ودونت فلسفة علي فلسفة فلسفة إذا الله أن ابن رشد مي الله مرسي upon him تفهم إنجليزي أنت؟ خلاص ابن رشد مي الله مرسي upon him he was affected by the Greek logic as well okay and the Greek logic is very dangerous, you know? The Greek logic is a poison. That's why the Salaf won't against it. You know, what is Felseva? If a Felseva love wisdom, we don't have to go back to the Greek logic to say that. Every human being loves wisdom. I don't, uh, yeah. so using our reasoning, that is in the Quran, every human being uses their reasoning. I don't need the conditions and the method of the Aristotle and the other philosophers to tell me the only way for me to, uh, to verify the truth, I have to go through the method of Aristotle and, and other philosophers. 
And that's why the science of our, our, uh, the modern science is based upon. And if anyone, especially Arabic speakers in the Arab world, if they want to learn about these issues, there's a brother, mashallah, from Egypt called Abu Fida, Hussein ibn Mas'ud. Hussein ibn Mas'ud is a doctor. Okay, mashallah, have his book called Al Mi'yar. His book is very important showing how the, the, the modern science, which we, a lot of us we believe is a, is a scientifically fact, a lot of assumption because of the philosophical terms they use, you know, you should read it, get the book. His name is Abu Fida, Hussein ibn Mas'ud. May Allah preserve him and may Allah give him tawfiq. أستاذ no, he has irada, he has irada. He has irada, shaitan, he had irada, and he disobeyed Allah intentionally with his will. Huh? Yeah, Allah never forced him. You know, that's why those who try to say Allah forced us to do haram, they are following the, the footsteps of Iblis. Because Iblis said, Bima aghwaitani. You deceived me or you made me to do that, you know? Iblis. So, no, the, the, the aqid of Arsenal Jama'a, Iblis have disobeyed Allah intentionally, you know? And one guy, you know, subhanAllah, brothers and sisters here, uh, uh, you have to understand about the, the wisdom of Allah creating Iblis. There's many wisdoms be be behind Allah creating Iblis. Because from our side, Iblis is evil. But when you disobey, when you disobey Iblis, where do you go? To, where do you go? to go paradise. So from one side is evil, from the other side, there's outcome of disobeying Iblis, you know? And Iblis, Allah raised him. He was among the mal Malaika, but he disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he had arrogance. But the Malaika, they never knew about that. That's why, why this imtihan? Why Allah tests us? Because sometimes someone can be portraying himself someone, but in reality he's not. So Allah put him through the test. That's why all of us, including myself, we ask God to give us ikhlas. And to make us in private better than what we are and open, you know? One last one. Many like Muslims, for example, almost now, yani, any zombie, for example, causes Iblis. But, okay, even Iblis, for example, the Prophet Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Yeah. What is the thing that caused Iblis and Yasir Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? Takabura, his arrogance. He said it. Ajudu li ma aqal. Khalaqtani, I am the better one. خلقته من خلقتني من نار خلقته من طين طيب يعني انا اقدر اقول سو هيم يمات اسمعني ثم هو ايش هو هيز تكبر هيز اروجنس لوكينج داون ذاتس واي ذا سيد ذا فيرست ريسست هو ابليس اول عنصر از ابليس يعني هذا كان القياس مع الفارق انا قياس مع الفارق يا كوز واي ذير از نو اجتهاد ويد هي واش تو ميك اجتهاد از شات تو بعد ذير از نو اجتهاد ويد النص because Nas Allah told you, سمعنا وأطعنا. That's why those who, who they see the Nas Quran Sunnah and they try to make their own ishtihad, again they are following the footsteps of Iblis. He left the Nas. No, it's a waswasa. Himself. Nafs and Iblis. Nafs, himself. He's takabur. Yeah. That's why Iblis. The fire as well. Sorry, Iblis. He never forced people. Yeah. Like there's there's the shayat and the jinn and shayat and the ins. There's insan now come tell you let's do zina. Well, here to be Allah. If you go do zina, on the day of judgment, it's no excuse for you because he told you. Likewise, Iblis is no excuse for you before Allah because Iblis told you. You still had the will, which the guy he tried to reject the will. Uh, uh, today I don't know what happened anyway. This is so stupid. Anyway, he told us his plan. Yani. He told us what he gonna do. Yani he promised I don't know if he gonna play in our ear. But I don't know if Iblis is so stupid. Clever, you know? I don't know if Iblis is so stupid. I know those who follow him are so stupid. Yeah. And sometimes not everyone. The Quran showed us that he is so stupid. Quran showed us that Iblis promised Allah. He told them what he gonna do. Sahih. He, do, you know, he even told them. Yeah. Iblis, yeah. he doesn't force you. Inspire you. Yeah. Yeah, inspire you. Yeah. Inspire you. But the point here is that Iblis, you know, Iblis is very patient. Yes, Boriyahi. Yeah. Iblis, very patient. That's why we have to ask Allah to protect us. Hayakallah ya zul. Salam alaikum. Barakallah bikum. So, so, hayakallah ya habibi. Mr. Al Mr. So, we have to. I mean, why hayakum? So, the point here is that we have to learn and 
and, and start email address. Oh, who left this phone? Akhwa, wallah, forgive me, brothers. Those two young brothers don't upload the video. The guy, the white brother, Linus, and the old man. Akhi, you can't be uploading video, someone standing, justifying, step on a baby's head. That's what they try to do. We can't because why? Some people are sick. They think, yeah, maybe it's true what you're just saying. You know? Maybe it's inspiring other people. So sorry today. Today I don't know what happened to Speaker's Corner. I've been here for a month. But alhamdulillah, there's a video I made, mashallah, about the Angus Islam haters. That one. But there's three of them, akhi. Today I don't know what happened. I've been speaking to people. Akhi, subhanallah, man. Yes, akhi, you want to ask questions? Yeah, it's just about uh, marriage when it comes to a Muslim. A yeah. man Muslim. Yeah. Marrying a, a non Muslim. This who, who's, who's, who belong to? I just, just want to know. Yeah, put it here, yeah. I just want to know what's what's the what's the rules on it about marrying a non-Muslim? Do you have to convert her? Of course, she has to convert. If, except if she's people of the book. If she's a Christian, if she's a Christian, then you allow her to marry a Christian woman. Okay, with the condition she's a she's a trust, you know, and uh, um, uh, she's like you know, uh, um, she's not someone who goes around sleep with a woman. I mean, sleep with a man and so on. Yeah, you know. You can that's, do that. Well, but alhamdulillah, there's too many Muslims. Women and, and men. Huh? Women, uh, Muslim women marrying a man. Non -Muslim. Non -Muslim. No, no, it's haram. It's haram. It's haram. Absolute haram. There's many reasons behind it. One of the wisdoms that I've heard, the, 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 the wisdoms, you know, Allah knows best. Firstly, Allah said it, and Allah's all Al Hakim will accept it. Because, you know, the baby, when a man have a child, who's the, the child goes back to? The mother. No, to the father, who is the sperm. It's sperm, you know, so it goes back to the father, you know, so the, it's not the, the mother, it goes back to the father, you know, so that's why, you know, uh, um, and also generally speaking, men influence women. So when you marry, marry a woman from the uh, people of the book, it's more likely because she believes in the Bible, she believes in the Jesus, there is God, prophets and messengers, more likely to accept Islam, mm -hmm. you know. But in our time, yeah, in our time depends, you know. Yeah, because there's a lot of, there's, obviously there's a lot of um, non-believers. They ask questions like, uh, a man is allowed to marry a, a, a woman who's not who's not Muslim, yeah. but a woman can't do the same. And then you've got yeah. feminists, they say that is... That is uh, Wrong. That is uh, unequal. Yeah, unequal, yes. Islam is not based upon equal. Islam is based upon justice. Yeah. And what is justice? Justice to give everyone what he deserves. Yeah. Oh, not everything same, you know? So a, a woman deserves, it's not what the man deserves, you know? So it's 